Time for the hard disk upgrade for your PlayStation 2. Let's go. Hey, it's awesome that you're tuning in here on the Wicked channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the PlayStation 2 and a very awesome way to upgrade it and maybe to dust it off <coughs> and do this major upgrade. <coughs> All right, so the PlayStation 2, I got this version from the beginning when the PlayStation 2 was launched. Yes, and the PlayStation 2 is always having this special place in my heart. But there is an upgrade I just wanted to talk with you about because there was something a lot of people don't know about the PlayStation 2. You remember this part? There was here in the Netherlands not a lot of stores who were selling the HDD or the hard disk converter. So back in the day, we could go online with the PlayStation 2. And the place 2 was out all for quite some time. And here in Netherlands, we had an option to buy a separate, let's say, network adapter. Or we could buy the slim version that had an integrated Ethernet connection. Nevertheless, I was quite interested always and fascinated with this HDD PlayStation 2 little converter. But back in the day, we didn't have very good internet. And there was basically no way of putting an HDD or a hard disk inside the PlayStation 2. Yeah, you can put it inside the PlayStation 2 but nothing happened because there was a special kit out there in Japan that was specially made for making your PlayStation 2 a PC and it was pretty awesome never got it never seen it but there's something else that I needed to show you here on the channel and that is the reason why you came nowadays we can make our own free Mac boot memory card or you can buy them for a couple of euros from Aliexpress for example so in combination with the network adapter, you can also buy the full kit that comes even complete with a hard disk. So with these three combined, we can finally get the full potential of the PlayStation 2 FAT model. I'm just going to focus on the FAT model for, there are some ways you can use it on the slim, not of course in this setup. There are ways that you can use a USB external hard drive. But nevertheless, we're not going to focus on that. Maybe we'll do a separate review about that. We're going to focus on the OPL in combination with a free MacBook. They're selling it like this combination with hard drive, memory card, and most of the time it's, let's say, a bootleg or a fake network adapter. If you're buying some kits, they are even using SATA or the newest and fastest connection. If this gives you a big advantage of the speed, so far I know there is not a big difference because at the end this serial connection is so far I know is EDA 100. Correct me if I'm wrong. Nevertheless, let's put it in the PlayStation 2 and I'm going to show you what are we going to get and what are the capabilities. Okay, there is something I need to show you. So before you're going to add this hard drive to your PlayStation, as you can see I'm using these gummy things for putting it in position because if you slide it in, it has too much space and it's going to get wiggly inside and that is not a good thing. So when everything is put in position, we can use this network adapter. It's very easy to use. Shut up, doggy. And we can go on with the doggy. Shut up. No, don't bark. Thank you. Do shut up. Shh. Nevertheless, what you're going to do is putting the adapter in position, connect everything, and when we're done, We're going to stick in the memory card of the Mac Freeboot in the second slot, for example. I recommend not use it in the first slot because we're going to use the save files. We're going to use it on the, save, the second slot and then we can use boot up. And I'm going to show you again what are the capabilities, what we can do with playing games from a hard drive. All right, so when booted up with the free Mac boot, this is the menu which you're going to get. Don't mind the version. I have a little bit older version. As far as I know, there isn't one that 95 version out there. But what you're going to get is basically more like the same like the original menu. Okay, so what I'm going to focus on is the open PS2 loader because I just wanted to show you this. Uh, when you're buying, for example, a free Mac booth memory card, sometimes they even include some emulators that you can play some retro games on it. Maybe I'll do a separate video about that if you like it, so leave it in the comments. When you go into Open Piece 2 Loader, 
here we're going to a separate program where we can load up all of your personal games for example including including for example with little covers when OPL is loaded this is what you're going to get or this is one of the ways some of these OPL also have the function like in PSP they have a different layout what you're going to get is for example a background from the game and we have of course the list over here and there we have the little cover so when you're making the image of your game with a special program you can add it to the list it is not a very easy drag and drop you need to get to learn the program how it works at the end but when you're having everything set up it works very well and this is just a new way basically to preserve your original games and to play the games from a hard disk and one of the biggest convenient things is you have all the games on one hard disk very easy to get to play and very fast loading times i will give you a small example all right so here at pressing the start you can adjust some things for example settings of the display there are quite some different options out there Again, most of the time you just need to configure everything one time and one single time and when you're done, it's go time. But when playing the games, it runs just fine like the original game from the disc. But I already mentioned, when you're starting the game, it loads up very fast and when you're going to load up a game, I will change to single player. You will see we have almost no loading times. So this is one of the convenience that you're going to have with the OPL. Preserving games and getting my ass kicked. And everything like the music plays very well. Keep in mind that it is not a 100% compatibility. Alright, so let's try another game. Normally have quite a long long loading time. I will show you. Hello. Almost no loading time. Right, here comes the loading screen. Oh, there is no loading screen. Okay, let's play a game. And keep in mind that you need to configure every single game if you add them. There is a big list how you need to do that, so that is not big of an issue. See, there are still loading times where they are very quickly, and I think you can resolve them almost at all. If you're putting in an SSD, for example, it gives you a little bit more speed. What I also mentioned in a part of the video earlier that you can use this two and a half inch usb drive there usb connection at the front but when you're having a slim there is no way to add the hard drive but keep in mind when you're using opl it's very strange the eternal hard disk is supported way better than the external one and a lot of games are not working when you try to add them on this usb drive it's a little bit of a shame because it's way more convenient to use in the usb drive of course So that's what you're going to get with the hard disk upgrade for your PlayStation 2. It is something that you not really need, but it's just so awesome that you can play all your games, put them on the hard drive and just load them up very easily through the OPL loader. The loading times are very short or there are none of them anymore. You can preserve your original games and you can just enjoy your PlayStation 2 once again. If all your games, depends of course how big the hard disk is, you can use SATA. And what I do understand they are using one or sometimes even two terabytes 
of storage capacity. And if you're getting these two terabytes, you can store so many of your games. So this is what you're going to get. If you have any question about OPL and the hard disk, you can always leave it in the comments. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, and I will see you in the next video.